Hey everyone, and welcome back to my World of Warcraft. Welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. So today, uh, let me introduce you to universal farming deck that I have been using for quite a while, actually, on pretty much all the legendary duelists out there at the gate. And also, this deck is really good against uh, roaming duelists, which appear here occasionally as well. So let's check out this deck real quick here. Now, some of you probably already heard about this deck, but uh, I want to uh, get some more exposure to it, because this deck just works wonders. <laughs> so, now this deck involves Le Montage du Fromage Dragon. Now, previously, before Montage Dragon was introduced, we were pretty much uh, making uh, specific decks for certain legendary duelists, and then we were just summoning big fat giant monster on the field. We were trying to survive, and then we were waiting until the last turn, pretty much, when we were out of cards. And then we were summoning Gravekeeper's Vassal, using Union Attacks, using uh, Secret Pass to the Treasures, and going for the game with Gravekeeper's Vassal. With Montage Dragon, duels last much more faster, you don't have to wait until the last turn with it, so yeah, and it works wonders against pretty much each and every legendary duelist. There are some exceptions though, <laughs> one of the infamous exceptions is Kaiba. Uh, you can farm Kaiba with this deck, but uh, he has enemy controllers and uh, sometimes he can just stop your Montage Dragon, so against Kaiba this deck is not too consistent, but against all other duelists uh, this deck uh, works wonders. And there are some exceptions in regards to 5Ds duelists as well, simply because they flood the board super fast, super easily with their tuners and whatnot, and then they can just destroy you super easily, so... <laughs> but yeah, against all other dudes uh, this deck works uh, great. So as you can see, this deck yeah, has, of course, our uh, ace master Montage Dragon, so his effect states that he cannot be a normal summon set, must be special summoned from your hand by sending three other monsters from your hand to the graveyard, and cannot be special summoned by other ways. This card's attack becomes the combined original levels of the sent monsters times 300. So what that means that um, all our other monsters in this deck should be filled with um, high level monsters. As you can see all other monsters, yeah, they are uh, level 10 and above, simply because we need to have pretty high attack for Montage Dragon to run over the opponent's monster and to defeat the opponent at the same time. You cannot get over 10k damage uh, with Montage Dragon, but you can get uh, over 5000, so you cannot get uh, the maximum uh, number of dual assessment points with this deck. However, uh, by spending extra keys, you can uh, get high dual assessment score anyway. And in my opinion, if you're looking at these previous uh, farming decks that we made in this game, uh, time is of the essence, and this deck is all about the time management, it's all about defeating your opponent as fast as you possibly can. So yeah, that's why I like this deck so much, so... So yeah, speaking about other monsters, it doesn't matter what other monsters which are of a high level you place here. I just placed monsters here which I had, which are of a high level. But uh, the only important thing about these um, high level monsters here is that um, Montage Dragon should be the only monster here who is of an Earth attribute. So all your other monsters here should be of a different attribute. This is uh, super important for the consistency of the deck. So, And also this deck only works uh, if a character has Draw Sense Earth. So Draw Sense Earth is a um, really important skill for this deck. So uh, let's see, let's check out this skill here. Let's see, uh, Draw Sense Earth. So here we can view which characters have this skill. 
So yeah, with these characters this deck works. With characters who do not have this skill, this deck uh, will only work if you have Montage Dragon in your starting hand pretty much, so basically it won't be consistent, so... But yeah, Drossen's Earth is super important because, as you can see, can be used each time your life points decrease by 1500 points. During your draw phase, instead of conducting your normal draw, draw a random Earth attribute monster. And because the only Earth attribute monster in our deck is Montage Dragon, this particular skill uh, makes it so that we only draw it. So basically, uh, yeah, this skill makes drawing Montage Dragon super consistent. <laughs> So basically the strategy will revolve around uh, damaging ourselves, so basically uh, the opponent will have to damage us so that we can activate this skill, then we draw our montage dragon, and then we pretty much go for the game. Fast, without all the other shenanigans uh, that other farming decks had to offer, basically we won't need to wait for the last turn pretty much when we are out of cards and whatnot. So this deck, yeah, is super fast. So uh, let's uh, test it out here. So let's see. Let's test this deck out. Yeah, against these uh, dual monsters. Uh, Duelists first. Against one. <laughs> Only I have no idea who to choose here. I definitely won't be choosing Kaiba. Like I mentioned before, Kaiba, yeah, has this freaking enemy controller here. So. So let's see, well, we can try this deck against my Valentine. My Valentine in a Duel Masters uh, Legendary Duelist list is also one of the toughest um, duelists to farm. So, so yeah, this deck is really great to uh, farm all these cards here from these duelists. And also, it's really great for uh, farming skills, because you can get skills from uh, these uh, Legendary Duelists as well. So, but um, in regards to skills, we have one other deck that I'll be uh, introducing you to a bit later. That deck uh, works better <laughs> for farming skills. So, and yeah, of course, we'll be choosing a level 40 duelists with this deck. And um, here, let's increase our reward multiplier. So, this deck is really great if you have a lot of keys, so it's not too beginner friendly farming deck. But uh, yeah, if you have um, enough keys to spare, then this deck uh, works great. So you need to have at least reward multiplier of 2 to have high dual assessment points with this deck. Because like I mentioned before, you cannot get uh, 8000 <laughs> dual assessment points or even more with this deck. So, so uh, let's go! Let's duel! And let's make an omelette out of my valentine, shall we, with this deck. Let's go! Oh yeah, there is also one thing in regards to items. You can use items in duels, so uh, using some items actually will help this deck out, but um, I'll probably uh, tell you some things about it in our next duel, so... Items can basically save your life with this deck as well. I usually use items uh, when there are roaming duelists, so... As you can see, we cannot summon anything! <laughs> so we'll just skip our turn, let's end our turn here. And now uh, let's make sure that Mai deals enough damage to us with her monsters here. Okay, nice. So now let's activate our skill, because she dealt enough damage to us so that we can activate it. And now this skill ensures that we draw our Montage Dragon here. So, and now, yeah, as you can see, we can go for game. So let's special summon it. Let's choose, uh, yeah, you Bell first here, and these other monsters as well. And that's it. Um, yeah, Boom. That's game. <laughs> yeah, I really like how fast this deck is. So, so that's how this deck works in a nutshell, pretty much. Sometimes there can be cases where um, you have Montage Dragon in your starting hand, 
Uh, in these cases, I advise you uh, just skip your turn anyway, simply because uh, if you'll summon Montage Dragon in your first turn, then what will happen is that the opponent will uh, place a monster, his monster, in defense position, and then you won't be able to go for game with your Montage Dragon. So... Okay, now let's uh, test out this deck against uh, GX. Duelist. Random one. I don't know which one. Let's see. Which is the most hardest one to deal with out of these? Uh, let me think a bit. I tested this deck against pretty much all the duelists, but... Um, as you can see, there are so many of them, so sometimes I forget which ones are kind of hard to deal with, which ones are easy to deal with, <laughs> and stuff like that, so... Well, actually, GX Duelists, all of them are pretty easy to deal with. Well, let's go against... Let's see. Alexis, why not? Duel! Let's make an omelette out of Alexis as well, shall we? So yeah, speaking about items, as you can see, you can use your items here. So I use these items against roaming duelists occasionally, uh, because, um, yeah, against roaming duelists you cannot um, increase your reward multiplier. So I occasionally use this results booster against them, so that I can get more points uh, with this deck. And uh, sometimes I also use uh, these extra life and extra card items, simply because they can save your life uh, with this deck sometimes. If you use extra card, then um, you can sometimes get uh, cards in your starting hand, which uh, can help you out. Like, one of the examples is Raieki, which gets rid of uh, all the monsters, opponent's monsters on the field, and also Harpy's Feather Duster, uh, which gets rid of um, opponent's back row. Because, as you can see, uh, yeah, this deck... Uh, well, it's pretty weak against back row, that's why, for example, enemy controller just stops this deck. So sometimes these roaming duelists, they have some nasty back row that you should um, get rid of to go for game. And extra life can help you in situations where just um, opponent overwhelms you, where opponent uh, just um, instantly goes for game with his masters, summons too much of them, and... Uh, you cannot survive, so extra life guarantees that you stay alive with 2,000 points, so... So, yeah. Well, you know what? We can actually uh, try to use some of these items here, <laughs> like extra life and extra card, for example. Why not? And let's go! Let's go! Now, of course, if you want to save your keys, you should then definitely go for these older decks which uh, require you to stall until uh, you are pretty much out of cards uh, in your deck and whatnot. But if you're not a beginner to this game and you have a lot of <laughs> keys to spare, then uh, yeah, this deck is just great. So, uh, extra card gave us uh, Master Reborn, which does nothing for this deck, unfortunately. So, so let's see. So, uh, in this case, I'll try to make Alexis kill me, so that I can activate my um, extra life. Let's activate our skill, because we can do that now. Let's draw a Montage Dragon. And, uh, yeah. Let's wait for Alexis to kill us. So I can show you how this uh, extra life skill works. As you can see, we are killed, but extra life um, prevents us from dying. So yeah, extra life is really handy um, in these situations when opponent just swarms the board. Where, for example, opponent summons one monster, but uh, the monster cannot deal enough damage to you for you to activate your um, skill, you know? And then in the next turn, uh, opponent summons one other monster and then just goes for game with these two monsters. So in these cases, um, extra life is really great. But okay. Let's summon our Lemontage 
du fromage. Dragon. And let's go for game. Let's go for a more cinematic approach here. Omelette du fromage. Dragon. Make an omelette. Out of her deck. And here we go. <laughs> Now, we can test this deck out against um, 5Ds, Duelist, random one, but uh, like I mentioned before, against 5Ds, Duelists, uh, this deck uh, does not work too well, simply because they have a habit of swarming their field uh, with a lot of monsters, like instantly, with tuners and whatnot, so... But uh, let's see, maybe we'll get lucky? So let's switch to 5D's world here. Let's see, who is the uh, hardest one to deal with? I remember I had a lot of trouble actually with uh, Crow. So maybe we'll uh, test this deck out with Crow. Yeah, let's go for Crow. We won't be using our, uh, our uh, items this time around here. Although it's a good idea, but uh, eh, whatever. <laughs> I'm here just to show you how uh, the deck works not to actually farm, <laughs> you know? Let's go! Let's make an omelette out of Crow's hairstyle! Hopefully. Yeah, Crow uh, is really hard to deal with simply because he swarms the board with his um, black wings. So... Yeah, speaking about the cinematic mode, as you can see, you can switch... Um, your view here. This somatic mode uh, is not uh, advised if you are uh, looking for saving time simply because uh, you'll be looking at these summoning animations a lot so that's why I prefer to use this other view. And it also gives you a much more nicer view here so you can view all the board completely, you know. Where here in this view you have trouble viewing all the board so, ooh, I guess Lady Luck showed her titties today to me. As you can see, we have Montage Dragon in our starting hand. So in this case, although um, in most cases you will not be summoning a, a Montage Dragon in your uh, kind of like first turn, but here, as you can see, we went uh, second. So now we can actually do that. If you go first, though, then do not summon Montage Dragon if it is in your starting hand. So, so yeah, let's just go for game. <laughs> well, Crow, let's make an omelet out of your balls. <laughs> and here we go. <laughs> So yeah guys, I think this will be it for today, so hopefully you enjoyed this video, hopefully you enjoyed this deck. Uh, this deck is not a new deck, uh, it has been roaming for quite a while in a Duel Links world. And uh, yeah, so far this is the fastest deck around, this is um, the most consistent deck around to farm. And uh, yeah, in my opinion time really matters, because uh, this game sometimes takes away a lot of your time, and most of this time is taken away from you actually by farming, simply because uh, you have to wait and stall for quite some time during these farming sessions with these other farming decks, but um, this farming deck uh, eliminates that, so it's really great. So, But not too beginner friendly though, but uh, it's really great for people who have a lot of uh, keys to spare. So. But yeah guys, this is it for today, hopefully you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Cheers!